Yes, 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 and thank you so much for tuning in. You're watching Honey Badger Wildlife News Live. That's right, this is primarily, I guess, for those who live in Europe or perhaps Australia or Tokyo, maybe getting off work in Tokyo, looking for something to watch live. It is I, Randall, narrator of the Honey Badger, and I have some interesting news to share with you all. Unless you're an insomniac, you could just be an insomniac here in the United States as well. So certainly a lot of that going on. Hey James, hey James, what's happening? Oh, hello Crystal. Hello, oh James, no, you're working at this time, please. So I wanted to gather all of you folks to let you know. Um, again, Once again, this is the Honey Badger Wildlife News. And I am your host, Randall. I know you don't give a shit. I know. I want to just remind everyone out there that there are quite a number of endangered species. Oh, I'm with you, Crystal. Believe me. The Amur leopard. Endangered. Critically endangered. The black rhino. Critically endangered. The Bornean orangutan, critically endangered. The Cross River gorilla, critically endangered. Hi. Excuse my lag, 62. And I saw the other one and said, hey, hey, ya. The Eastern Lowland gorilla. The Hoss Hawksbill turtle. The Haven Rhino, the Malayan Tiger, the Mountain Gorilla, the Orangutan, the South China Tiger, Sumatran Elephant, Sumatran Orangutan, Sumatran Rhino, Sumatran Tiger, the Western Lowland Gorilla, and the Yantes Finless Porpoise are all critically endangered. Hey, Richard. Let's give you a little look at what's going on. Reporting to you live here from Los Angeles. Actually, these days it's a Los Angeles. A lot of fires, which have just now started to really go out by the amazing efforts by the firefighters. It has really been fierce. And Mother Nature hasn't really been much for help by blowing the winds all over the place. Little Jewel, thank you for being here and in the house, in the hizzies. Minus two and heavy snow. Oh, good grief. That is really something. Well, I hope that even though it's minus two, you're able to snuggle and get a little warm no matter where you are. And I hope everyone is warm and safe. It is an absolutely cray cray world out there these days. Oh, oh, really? Your nephew? Well, your nephew is probably uh, putting his two cents in to help put out these fires. I'm telling you, Crystal Witch, it is fierce. These fires are roaring and unstoppable. Basically, Mother Nature just uses her wind to blow around the fires, and it's been terrible. It's actually stopped being as windy lately, which is really helping these brave firemen. All those animals I've mentioned are critically endangered as of right now. Endangered are the African wild dog, the Amur tiger, the Asian elephant, the Bengal tiger, the black-footed ferret. Can you imagine this? The black-footed ferret. Ah, oh, it's just so adorable. The blue whale. Sadly, the blue whale. Such a magnificent creature. Endangered. The bluefin tuna. The bonobo. The Borneo pygmy elephant. The chimpanzee. Can you imagine this? The chimpanzee is endangered. The fin whale. The Galapagos penguin. The Genghis river dolphin. The green turtle. Hector's dolphin. The Humphead Rasse, the Indian Elephant, the Indo-Chinese Tiger, 
the Indus River dolphin, the North Atlantic right whale, so many whales, the red panda, sea lions, the sea whale, the Sri Lankan elephant, the tiger. Yep, just a regular tiger, endangered. And the whale, any whale, is pretty much endangered. All those animals just listed are endangered, and the ones that I mentioned before those are critically endangered. I just wanted to bring this to everyone's attention. This, these lists are just really shocking to me. Um, I just want to share that because it's so shocking, as well as the fact that in the United States, 41 million people now live in poverty. 41 million people live in poverty in the United States. And a ton of animals are either critically endangered or endangered. I mean, you see it all around. Everything is affecting something. And I think, you know, a lot of folks say, so what's the solution? What's the solution? So I think the solution is we have to start getting together we start to have more conversations, uh, no matter what, uh, no matter the odds, uh, just to engage in some sort of conversation to really figure out how we're going to save these critically endangered species. In other words, you know, that's it. They're like a step away from being extinct, being right up there with the dodo bird. So, you know, the problem is it's hard to or, well, not for some, but it's hard for society, I feel, for most of society in general, to consider saving a species when perhaps Homo sapiens themselves are in a lot of danger and a lot of trouble. Ah, oh, geez Louise, I'm so sorry to be so doomy and gloomy. I just wanted to let everyone out there know um, that that's what's happening, that those animals are either critically endangered or endangered. Um, you can feel free, and I really hope you do, visit the worldwildlifefoundation.org. Whenever you get a chance, you could see the list. You can find out why these animals are important to our ecosystem and find out how you can donate and do something. That's one way you can always do something. In a lot of these cases, they're helping to free the animals. So, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in and watching this Honey Badger Wildlife News live. And I'll be doing this probably earlier next time. This is way too late for my consultation. But as I said, I'm an insomniac and what can you do? Thank you so much for watching.